On today's show, VW considers selling off assets to help pay for its diesel scandal, Nissan develops a fuel cell that runs on ethanol, and product development in China is done at breakneck speeds. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily for June 15th of 2016. Volkswagen's diesel scandal is going to be expensive. Some analysts predict it will cost the company $70 billion to reimburse customers and pay fines and legal fees. In an effort to pay for that, Bloomberg reports that VW plans to combine the components units of each of its brands to cut costs and boost efficiency. The company is also reviewing its brand portfolio to see if it wants to sell non-core assets, which could include Ducati, MAN Diesel and Turbo, and its propulsion brand, MAN Rank. It also may consider an initial public offering of its commercial vehicle business. VW CEO Matthias Mueller presented the plan to the supervisory board yesterday and is expected to make an official announcement tomorrow. You know, people increasingly want their cars connected to all the things they do, and now Verizon is making it easier for small business owners to manage their fleet. The company recently launched Express Fleet, which is a device that plugs into the onboard diagnostic port. It provides maintenance reminders, diagnostic reports, monitors unsafe driving behavior, and also helps locate the vehicle if it's stolen. The service costs $18 a month per vehicle. And still to come, a look at how product development times in China put a huge amount of pressure on designers. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. As we've discussed, the Chinese car market is much different from what we're used to here in the U.S. Recently on Auto Line This Week, we were joined by the heads of design at Cherry, Geely, and GM Shanghai. In the following clip, they talk about how much faster vehicles make it to market. It's amazing, the the speed, the cadence of things that happen here. And it's, I'm learning a lot that I'm I'm hoping to help, you know, the home base learn as well, because the market here moves so quickly. Every day I'm on the road, it seems like I see a new badge on a car I haven't seen before. We did a, a, a study internally just to try to figure out how big is the C-segment market here in China? Our team was able to count 78 different notchback and hatchback entries in the C-segment and an additional 38 uh, uh, SUVs. And this, and this was uh, a year ago, so I suspect the numbers might be even more. <laughs> but that, that, um, speed is, sorry, that, that speed is also in, in how things get done uh, internally. I, yes. I, mean, I remember working on a, a clay model in, in April, I can't remember which year, a few years back. And we were still working on the clay in April, and in the August I was visiting a factory, and I was just crossing from one building to another, and a very good-looking prototype yes. of that clay model drove by. Yes. And I thought, how on earth is that done? <laughs> it's spectacular, yeah. the speed. Very similar yeah. experiences where you're tuning a clay model, and all of a sudden you see a prototype yeah. drive by. And, you're, <laughs> and you're James, you told me you, you had a concept car, or have a concept ca- yes. car at the show that got done in no time. It, it's amazing here. We call it the Land of Miracles. We, um, we picked the sketch. We picked the sketch literally in January, and we had to deliver the car five days before the Beijing Auto Show because, because we had this, this brand event, and, and we did it. And that, to me, is very, very fast. For more Chinese design insight, you can watch that entire discussion right now on our website, or you can find it on our YouTube channel. Coming up next, Nissan creates the first automotive fuel cell that can run on ethanol. Lear Connexus is the new application suite in vehicle connectivity designed to deliver over-the-air software updates and more from Lear Corporation's eSystems, leaders in power and data management. 48-volt mild hybrid systems are said to have 70% of the fuel efficiency of a high-voltage hybrid, but at 30% of the cost. And now Mercedes is jumping on board. 
Next year, the automaker will come out with a new family of gasoline engines that will have a 48-volt system. It will be used to power functions like brake regeneration, stop-start, and electric boost. No word yet what vehicle will get the system first, but it will likely be a high-end model. You know, we're seeing more automakers test out fuel cells, but there's still an issue with fueling infrastructure. Now Nissan may have come up with a solution. It's developing a fuel cell that can run on multiple fuels, mainly ethanol and natural gas. The system generates electricity through its solid oxide fuel cell using stored bioethanol. Solid oxide refers to the cell's electrolyte material. One of the biggest advantages is that, unlike other systems, no additional CO2 is emitted when power is being generated. It also offers better long-term stability and lower overall cost. Disadvantages include higher operating temperatures that result in longer startup times and mechanical and chemical compatibility issues. But Nissan is working towards a zero emission lineup and the e-biofuel cell is part of that effort. Well, with that, we wrap up today's show. Thank you for watching. Please join us again tomorrow.